Hi my honeys, welcome back to my channel. So since it's still pretty much Halloween, <laughs> it's not over yet, I'm gonna go ahead and continue this Halloween makeup series or not really a series, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I really, really wanted to do a angel makeup, a look that you guys can create at home, super easy. And the reason why is because I got these like little jewels on Amazon, which I will link down below for you guys. I bought like four, um, but this one has a black and red st um, stones. And so I thought, let's do the black stones because I haven't used any of these. I went to Goodwill yesterday. We love going thrifting. I love to see what I can find. I didn't find any anything <laughs> unfortunately um, but I did find um, some gloves and a little crown that I don't know if I'm gonna use just yet and then the black angel wings at the thrift store yeah no yeah there was only like the white um, wings but that's just not what I wanted I wanted black <laughs> so pretty much what I'm gonna focus on is just the makeup but of course you guys can go out there and if you feel inspired by this look for Halloween then go out and get like your own little black wings or whatever the case may be that angels wear. Um, so today I'm just going to focus a lot more on the makeup. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to see how I turn myself into a black fallen angel, then please keep on watching. So what I'm going to do, I already prepped my eyes. I do have, as usual, the um, P. Louise Rumor 02 base eyeshadow base and then I did apply some Anastasia brow gel in my brows and then we will fill them in with a pencil um, once I am done with the makeup. So right now what I'm going to focus is on the eyeshadow. So I'm going to go into my MAC. I think it's the 288. I love MAC brushes so much but I hate that the number always rubs off. Um, but I think this is the 288. De por si estoy bien ciega or it's 233. I don't know, <laughs> um, but I did buy it at the local Mac store, like their actual store. Um, so I'm going to start off with the Tres Luce, the I Am palette. And what I'm going to do is take um, Fuerte, which is that matte black shade, and I'm going to start to create my cut crease. Now with my cut crease, you guys, it's definitely going to be so different because I'm going to pull it all the way towards my hairline. Like it's going to be crazy intense. Of course, like I say in all my videos, you don't have to do this. You guys can create um, a cut crease, but not take it all the way to the back. It's honestly whatever floats your boat, um, but I'm going to do that because obviously it's Halloween makeup and we don't do our makeup like this every day and why not? <laughs> Here's what I have going on so far. So basically what I'm doing, as you guys saw earlier, I'm pretty much flicking up the eyeshadow going this way because I'm going to go in with a textured sponge in just a second and I'm going to start to stamp the eyeshadow going this way up. Um, but for right now, what I'm doing, as you guys can see, look how intense that black is from Tres Luce. And I love this brush because it's so precise and like I said, you can use it also for eyeliner. And so I'm just pretty much flicking up the eyeshadow and it does it by itself if you're not using too much. And then we will blend this out. Like this, this honestly does not have to be perfect because we are gonna cover it up with that textured sponge. All right guys, now I'm gonna go into my Morphe M433 and it's clean. I just started to like <laughs> blend out the eyeshadow but it has absolutely no product. And so what I'm doing is just pretty much um, blending this out. Again, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, at all. You can honestly just skip this step, but I'm just so used to having it perfect. <laughs> I'm a perfectionist. Um, so I just like to make sure that this is just blended, but honestly, you don't even have to do this step. Before I go in to, cause what I want to do is connect this going this way so that we can add some of that black down here. Um, but I just want to make sure that this is nice and like clean and I'm using my jaw cosmetics CC number two brush to just clean this up because like I said, black can be super messy. I just want to make sure that at least the main lid is clean. I'm going to go in to my eye shading brush, the E55 by Sigma. And so going back to the Tres Luce palette, I'm going to go in to the shade called light, this one right here. And what I'm going to do is pretty much set all of this so you can also don't have to do it matte you can add maybe like a gray shimmer you can do an off-white shimmer like this color right here divina was would be really pretty too like all over the um, the lid but i just want to keep it matte 
and I'm gonna take it all the way towards the back. And now just jumping back into my um, MAC brush, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go into that Fuerte shade again, you guys, and I'm gonna start to just um, connect it towards the outer corner. So you wanna keep it very clean, and it doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, towards the outer corner because we're just gonna um, stamp it with the textured sponge. Um, and then I'm gonna take a little bit of amount of eyeshadow, you guys, and just bringing it towards the top lash line. I want that to be very, very thin. All right, guys, so I just did this eye off camera and then I applied my foundation. My foundation for today, I'm going into the Born This Way by Too Faced in the shade Vanilla. Um, so now I'm going to apply my concealer. I didn't do my foundation with you guys because it's just my foundation, there's nothing special. <laughs> I'm just slapping that on. Um, for concealer today, I'm gonna go into my NARS um, Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard. And I am going to apply it where I normally always do. So on the sides of my eyes, underneath the under eye, on the outer corner of my eye, as well as my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my chin, and that's it. I'm going into my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair Neutral and just gonna go right on top of that NARS concealer. And the reason why is because that way this area can be more on the bright side. And now you guys, to bronze my face, I'm gonna go into my Soul Body. This is their Face and Body Bronzing Balm in the shade Medium Dark. I love this stuff so much. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just blend out my concealer. I was letting it bake <laughs> while I was applying my cream contour. I love doing this because it does set a little bit better and yeah, it just looks way more flawless underneath my under eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take my time and blend this out with a B Bella Beauty Sponge. If you guys have not used B Bella Beauty Sponges, they're seriously so good and they're very squishy and fluffy which is what i really like i don't like hard beauty blenders you know like after you get them wet they're super hard still like no i like them to be like this like super fluffy and bouncy all right guys so now i'm going to set my cream bronzer with my um shades by shan this is their contour palette and i'm going into the shade called latte absolutely love this bronzer um, or contour palette <laughs> it's so good it's very creamy and it doesn't feel cakey or too dry on my skin so that's why i really enjoy using this so remember i am going a little bit heavier with my contour just so i can make my skin my cheekbones a little bit more skinny make them really really you know what i mean i want to make this angel dark angel really skinny <laughs> To set my concealer, you guys, I'm gonna go into my Artist Couture. This is their Creme Brulee, um, their multi-use beauty powder, and Creme Brulee is the name of this shade. I'm gonna go into my beauty sponge, and I'm just going to go like this. I'm just going to set underneath this area. And then we are gonna go into my, um, after we set the areas where we place the concealer, I'm gonna go into my translucent powder from Anastasia in the shade of vanilla, and I'm going to um, bake underneath my under eye again. All right, guys, so I'm just dusting everything off just because I don't like it to sit for too, too long. And I'm just gonna buff everything out. And at the same time, we're pretty much setting the rest of our face. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in my eyebrows before we go into that textured sponge. I'm gonna go into the Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade number four, and I'm pretty much just going to create you know, strikes or strokes in my brows, and we are going to mimic actual real hair. So this is just gonna give my brow a more natural look. I don't want to. I didn't want to do too much of a contour brow. I kind of want my brows to be more on the soft side. Apply the textured sponge. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is what it is. It's this cute textured sponge which you can get at the Halloween store. Um, it actually comes pretty big like this, and I just cut it up in half and made this small little sponge and so i'm gonna take the beauty creations this is their after dark i want to say it's gel liner um they came out with a bunch of different colors they have green pink 
um, purple, and then this one. I will link them down below for you guys. You can also use a gel liner, whatever you have, or paint. And so pretty much what we're gonna do is go like that. And then we are going to start to stamp the gel, as you guys can see just like that. Um, you can get as messy and as creative as you want and it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm really trying my best to stay away from the lid because I want that completely matte. I just want the main focus to be around it. And around this right here, you guys, I'm gonna try to get in very, I'm gonna tilt the sponge to the side and like that. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna start to apply the jewels. So I'm gonna go into the black ones. You guys can apply whatever color of jewels you want. And I am using a wax pen to pick up the jewels and place them on my eyes. Um, and then, um, but first, sorry, first, I'm gonna go into the um, my lash glue. This is the Duo Clear adhesive and I'm going to apply the glue dot first and then on top of it I'm going to apply the jewel so get creative have fun with it I'm going to scatter them around the eye um, so yeah it doesn't have to be perfect all right guys so I finished this eye off camera I applied some lashes and applied the black liner and my waterline. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this eye with you guys. So for lashes today, I'm gonna go into Batty B Lashes from Jenny69. So I recently got a PR package from her and normally I'm not a girl who wears a size 25 in lash. I'm normally a 11 to like 16. I'll sometimes even push it to like 18 or 19s, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about like how long they are. So these are actually so bomb and so pretty. Um, the style that I decided to go into is called Snatched. When you look at them, you're like, I don't know, because they look super long, but then once you do have them on the eye, like they look so bomb. So this is the lash that I'm going to go into and it's called Snatched. The only thing that I don't like, you guys, is that they put a lot of glue. Can you guys see that? And it's black, which is odd because sometimes they use clear glue. So just be really careful if you do decide to buy this lash book. Um, because you don't want to rip your lash apart. For mascara today, I'm going to go into the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes from Charlotte Tilbury. I really, really like this mascara. It is so good and it really makes my lashes look full. And I'm just going to apply a layer. I'm gonna go in it to my Urban Decay Perversion Eye Pencil. I need to go back and buy some more. These um, eye pencils you guys from Urban Decay are seriously so, so bomb. So I'm gonna apply this in my waterline and then I'm going to tide line my eye. And then I'm gonna go back into that MAC 233 or 288 brush, going back into the Tres Luce I Am palette, picking up the shade Fuerte, and I'm going to extend the eyeshadow going inwards. So pretty much to create a cat eye, and you guys can take it out as much as you want. I don't want it to be too extreme. Now for blush, I'm gonna go into Sigma's Blush and Cheek Palette. I'm gonna go into this color right here, which is called Pet Name. And you guys already know that I love this palette so much, but I absolutely just really love this particular color. It is so pretty and it really gives you a nice rosy cheek color. And I'm gonna go into my Sigma brush, the F10 as well. And I'm just going to apply, I think I might apply this one first and then I'm gonna darken it up just a little bit more. All right, guys, so I decided to go into my Beauty Creations. This is the Dare to be Bright Gel Pencil, um, and I'm going to just outline my lips, um, and then I'm still gonna go into the Time Los Angeles um, Corruption Lip Pencil. I just kind of felt like this was too, the vinyl from Morphe was too on the red side, and I kind of wanted to still be more on the dark side. All right, my honeys, so here you have the final look. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I want to know what your thoughts are. Of course, this makeup look with your outfit will definitely make a huge difference. And of course, if you have any contact lenses, I feel like some white ones would be absolutely stunning. And then your wings, and then your full-on alpha girl, and then you are ready for your Halloween party or whatever it is that you are going to be doing. This is definitely a makeup look that I would wear if I had kids and were doing like a Halloween party. Um, I feel like it's still very glam, very put together, but yet it's still like super 
extra. <laughs> I had so much fun doing this. I love doing more of like the glam looks. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next video very, very soon. I love you so much. Besitos. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.